Hello, collective, wherever you are. I hope you're somewhere safe, somewhere warm, surrounded by love, light, happiness, joy, abundance, and filled with so much faith. Real quick, can you do me a favor? Can you hit that like button? Please hit share if you like to share it. And then hit subscribe and turn that notification bell on to all. So you can always be updated whenever I put another message out there for you guys. And if you would like to donate, you don't have to. It's not a requirement, but it is. Truly appreciate it. The information is in the description box down below. And thank you from the bottom of it with all my heart ahead of time to anybody and everybody who chooses to do so. And to everybody who has been. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May God bless your beautiful souls tenfold. All right, guys, let's see what's going on. You already know I'm pulling out this badass tarot deck, so, you know, it's probably going to be something wild here. I don't fucking know. I'm about to find out, though. All right. I hope you're all having a beautiful and blessed day, wherever you are, filled with love and joy, happiness and faith. Ooh, Page of Cups um, and the Six of Pentacles. All right, you're going to get some sort of, like, um, message all right, it's going to be some sort of generous um, message. It might even be like a an apology, possibly. It doesn't have to be, or it could be like a loyal. Um, it could be for someone like loyal as well, because Page of Clubs also can talk about loyalty. Um, a message of loyalty. Um, strongly, you could possibly get. I'm, I'm, I'm strongly getting that, and it's like a it's six of Pentacles. It's a generous like blessing. All right, beautiful. Like, it might be something with finances, like, to the point where, like, and I feel like it's on your path. It's like, you know, it was destined to be just like this path that's clear. Like, people tried to, um, try to block it, but it's not happening. All right. Um, yeah. I have a strong feel. It's like some of the finances, like, and you're going to be able, it's a generous blessing. Like, where you're going to be able to bless the pockets of other people. Could even possibly be, like, some sort of, like, job opportunity or something. Or promotion or a raise or something like that, possibly. The Nine of Pentacles, oh, yeah, you're single, self-sufficient, and independent. Beautiful. Your money's safe, you're safe. Nice. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Loved Ones passed away. What is the collective? Um, some sort of generous blessing, yeah. Nine of Cups is your ultimate wish fulfillment. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is, I like this. Really nice. Awesome. All right, let's see what's going on here, guys. We got the Nine of Cups, the ultimate wish fulfillment at the bottom of the deck. Beautiful. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. Angels, ancestors, almost passed away. What does the collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of at this time? Please and thank you. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody's, I think this is like probably inheritance that was left to you. Or like left to you that somebody possibly stole. It's coming back to you. This is like a financial ruin for somebody. Dude, this is like the first reading I did this, like this morning. Um, damn. As I think that's, wasn't that the, the first, or was it the, it was the Ace of Pentacles that came out in the reading I did right before this one, the one this morning, in the reverse, now we have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, I'm strongly getting this as your inheritance that you're going to be getting back, that was possibly stolen from you, but somebody's going through like straight financial ruin, damn, hello, Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, maybe they want to apologize, that could be with that page, it might be somebody who ever stole this inheritance from you, possibly could want to, um, that might be what that is, like, uh, to apologize to you with a generous apology, possibly, because they know that you're about to be blessed with this, because obviously if they stole it from you or attempted to, they know you're getting it back, you know what I mean? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, where's it at? Here it is. The Two of Wands. Yeah, this is, this is planned. This is, like, something that's already planned. Like, are you, um, whatever this is, it's a lot of fucking money, okay? Um, you know, I'm strongly getting it. It's been released or, like, at least it's been taken from who stole it from you. And it's, it's planning, it's coming back to you, okay? Somebody could be in the military. Um, this could be you or somebody involved in the situation. Uh, thank you, you know, to everybody um, who's ever served. God bless your beautiful souls. Thank you for your service. Um, with the utmost love, respect, and gratitude and appreciation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so yeah. Um, this is like, you're going to be able to plan a whole, your whole new world with this, okay? The tower, yeah, this is... They were planning to steal this from you. This is what this exactly is. They were planning to steal this from you. They might have, or they were they were blocked or stopped beforehand, or they might have even got it, but now they have to release it to you, and it's like a, it's like you know, um, a major loss for them. But it was never theirs in the beginning, okay, to begin with, and it's a major chaos, destruction of people and mayhem for these people for you know what I mean, um, stealing this from you. They should never fucking touch this shit that never belonged to them in the first place. Now their life is like complete chaos, destruction, upheaval, and mayhem, all right? But they should have never did it. It was never, you know, theirs to begin with. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Loved Ones that passed away. 
somebody could be in the same sex, you know, somebody could, you know, this could be you or somebody involved in this situation, could definitely like the same sex, um, there's two men kissing right here, okay? But I feel like if, the, if, if that's the case, it, um, I feel like somebody's in the closet about this. This is like a secret. Somebody's also the same sex as you. They're daydreaming about you. They're like, they're fantasizing about having a relationship with you. As well. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, thank you. Game over. Five of Swords. Okay, here we go. Yeah, these people smiling in your face, stabbing you in the back, it's fucking over for that shit. It's not happening no more. All right, um, be careful if you do have these people. Like, some, there's something about on camera, and I'm strongly feeling it's this, it's like somebody about the same sex. Um, that, again, there's nothing wrong with that, okay? Um, what I'm saying is, to this person, it, it, it is. Like, they're in the closet, it's hidden. It's a hidden um, thing they don't want nobody to know about. That's, and I feel like they're going to be caught on camera. You also might be doing something like that's, you know, that has to do with like being, um, on camera. Okay. Um, in a good way though, like maybe you have a platform or something. They're trying to stop this and block this. It's not going to happen though. Okay. You're, you're going to continue. Don't let anybody, um, knock you off your throne and trick you out of your spot. Okay. These people are playing a lot of fucking games when they, you know, um, Somebody could be an actual professional gamer as well. Um, I'm getting that too. Um, but yeah, they're playing a lot of fucking games, all right, when, to, to steal this inheritance from you and to, you know, to come up against you. But there's some sort of video um, proof of what maybe they got caught on camera stealing this or like maybe there was a recording or something about this inheritance where somebody could have been wearing a wire. I'm strongly getting somebody was wearing a wire and... Um, you know, they they got this person busted, caught up for, for this inheritance. And I'm strongly getting someone's, like, there's going to be some sort of uh, video leaked of this person that's in the closet um, coming out. 25 could be significant. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Loved Ones that passed away. What does the collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of at this time? Please, thank you. Thank you. Something about the same sex, man. We have 10, 10. Ten of Wands, they're heavily burdened about this. And look, that's two men right there. That's two men on there. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. But um, to this person, it is like this person, they're, they're, they're hiding their emotions. They're not their authentic self. They hate the fact that you, you are yourself, like, especially if you, if you are gay, if you like the same sex and like you're open about it, they fucking are so jealous and envious of this. Okay. Cause they can't be themselves. Um, and if you're not, you know, for those of us who are not gay, who are, you know, we like, you know, the opposite sex, like they're still envious of you for being able to be your 1 million percent authentic, true self. And they this person, you know, could never be themselves or always wearing a mask. And they're so jealous and envious of you and they're heavily burdened about this fucking some about the same sex videotape coming out about them like maybe their partner caught them either maybe i don't know something that they're watching online or maybe they put a camera in their house because they thought that they're cheating on them and then like the their their person found out like oh shit like they caught them with the same sex and they're gonna leak it you know what i mean i'm strongly getting that then somebody could have possibly tried to leak um, videos of you without your consent and without your knowledge. If that's the case, you best believe God's going to make sure that, that those people get caught up and you get, you know what I mean? Let's say completion is the end of a cycle for that type of shit to happen to you, okay? Um, I'm strongly feeling this could possibly be your, your past person. It doesn't have to be, but I'm strongly getting that for somebody. It is. You're going to find out that your past person was gay and you might not have known about this. Yeah, but as they're heavily burdened about this, all right, you're, you're, yeah, you're, you've been very patient, you're an earth angel, we have the temperance card right here, you're, um, you're an earth angel, you're very healing, you know, you're very spiritual, and, oh, is there divine spirit angels? you've been very patient, like, during this, and I'm telling you, your, your patience and your, your faith is going to, uh, pay off tremendously for you, okay, guys? So just continue to always stay, stay faithful, always stay, you know, um, always keep your faith, okay, and always, um, what do you call it, uh, you know, like just, you know, be patient because it's going to pay off, and, and you have been very patient, okay, so you're not going to have to wait much longer, okay, it's coming in for you, it's all right, oh shit, thank you, spirit, yeah, six of swords, 
you're moving away or you did or you're about to and um we have the high priestess yeah you're spiritual you're spiritual leader you're spiritually gifted okay you're, you use your gifts for the good as well um i feel like you're going to also with whatever you're doing with your spiritual gifts you're going to get some sort of a major abundance through this so keep doing it keep working on it okay you could be like a reader you could be um you could just be you know you have a spiritual channel or something or you could be a psychic or medium or something like that um and it's going to get you very far okay now these people tried a lot to stop this they they, they could have even spent all their fucking money trying to attack you and go into readings and like somebody's definitely overindulging in like divination um and like go into like some sort of practitioner trying to stop you. Somebody's overindulging in alcohol and drugs as well. All right, but yeah, you moved away, and when you did, like you, it was like for, like God, God moved you. Okay, um, you might have thought you did it yourself, but no, God did that shit. God had every part of that. Okay, or if you are about to move, it's God moving you. He's moving you out of this war zone. You say, look. See, he's moving you out of this war zone. So don't look at it. If you had, like, say if you lost an apartment or a house or something like that, or if you got kicked out, or if, so, like, your 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 marriage or your um, relationship didn't work out and you had to move out, whatever the situation is, don't look at it as, like, a, um, you know, a punishment or anything. It was actually a blessing in disguise because um, these people were trying to ruin you. It was actually, you were in a war zone pretty much, all right? Now, you, God moved you out that way, and he's about to move you again is what I'm strongly getting. You're about to move again. Um, you're you're moving away from the chaos, destruction of people, the mayhem. This is like, literally, look at this. It's like a whole big, you know, I don't want to say the word, but you don't, you don't, you know what that is. Um, but like now that you moved out the way or you're about to be moving out the way, gods can come in and like have and, and reap havoc on, you know, what I mean, again, and, and, you know, do what he has to do to these people um, to, you know, he can the karma. What I'm pretty much saying is like the karma can come in and spank all their asses like but God needed you out of the way to be able to do this because, you know, he can't have you in the middle of the war zone that he is, you know, that that you want karma comes in for these people. OK, guys. But whatever you're doing, too, you're flourishing beautifully in your spiritual gifts. People are trying so hard to stop this, but they can't. I feel like you're going to get some sort of financial abundance through this. So keep working on it. Keep doing it. All right, guys. Uh, we have the Ace of Cups. Beautiful. Your cup's going to be overflowing with love. Somebody's name could be Lucy. There's I Love Lucy. Somebody could like this show. I Love Lucy. I know. I, I used to love that show. <laughs> Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. Someone's name could be Ricky, like Ricky Ricardo, you know what I mean? Rick, Ricky, Richard, or Dick. Some people call, you know, that's another, is a nickname, is Dick for Richard. I'm not saying that's just, just seriously, it's, it's a nickname. Yeah, Page of Cups. Somebody wants to either apologize to you, or, or I feel like you're coming in with the Ace of Cups right there at the bottom of the deck. Um, I'm trying to get in, like, you're going to possibly come into union. Your ex, I feel like, is the one that's going to get caught up Um, the same sex. You're going to find out your ex is... um is is really you know on the low down low but now that people see that you are the spiritual leader and i'm certainly getting your your stupid ass ex um they might want to come and apologize now because they they see what you got going on what your plans are and like how you're flourishing beautifully and you moved on and it's like a fucking disaster to them all right you're getting some sort of like loyal love offer coming in though all right, and I feel like it's coming in through whatever you're doing with your spiritual gifts. Like maybe if you have a platform or if you have your own business, you might just walk into like one day, maybe somebody, you know, the man of your dreams or the woman of your dreams might just walk into your shop or whatever, you know, or if you have a platform, you might meet them on that platform or something like that. But you're also, your ex now sees that you are a spiritual leader. You're extremely gifted, you know, um, and they, like, you know, you're extremely gifted. You're extremely intuitive. They know that, you know, now they know that you know everything that they've done to you. And they are trying to get you to unblock them. I'm looking at this unlock key right here. The, um, the, the unlock, you know, the lockout's unlocked. They're trying to get you to unlock um you know, to un unblock them, okay, to open back up to them, so be very careful, please, 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 guys, you know, keep, your, anybody you cut off in the past, please, keep that that way, confirmation, oh, hold on a second, guys, the cemetery is calling me, hold on, hold on, all right, I apologize, guys, I thought that was actually the cemetery, um, because my, my, my stepfather that the, 
the one my mom was engaged to when she passed away, he bought my mom a um, gravestone, like, fucking forever ago. And there have been waiting for them to call me to let me know when they're putting this gravestone in. But it was actually somebody, like, this. No, I've had this number for, I couldn't even tell you how many years now. At least two, three years, something like that. I think even longer. Actually, it's been way longer than that. And I still be getting calls for this lady who has, someone's name could be Gabriel, or Gabrielle, I mean, Gabrielle. Um, that could be, or Gabby, that could be your name or somebody else's, but this is a person that, like, I constantly still get, it was her kid's school, and they've, their school has called me millions of times, it was her son on the phone, um, talking about they didn't want to go to after school, so it's maybe somebody, something to do with your child, maybe, or somebody's child in here that's not wanting to go to school, um, because I know I get calls all the time from, from that person's school, the, the kid does not like to show up to school, so be careful, keep an eye on your children, okay, so maybe you have, like, a, you have a teen, or, um, that's, like, skipping classes, or showing up late, or skipping school, all in general, I feel like that was a reason why that, that call, because I've told these people so many times, like, this is not, you know, that lady's, uh, number no more, and I've had it for, for years, since, you know, I don't even know how many years it's been, it's probably, actually, it's been longer than that, it's been, like, five or six years now, um, so it's just, I don't know. Or no, it hasn't been that long, actually. It's been like three years, actually. Now I think about it, because I did have my old number. But still, like, it's been three fucking years. I still get calls from her. But I feel like that happened for a reason, okay? I feel like maybe you have a child or somebody involved in this situation. They're not showing up at school. Um, or they're, they're skipping school or they're coming in late or something like that. Okay, so just so you know. But anyway, yeah, it was it was, it was them. It wasn't my mom's grave. But thanks, that that happened. Because now I can call up to the, the place and see what the fuck's going on. My mom's um, it just reminded me to do that. Somebody could be passing away. Okay, that could be this too. Somebody could definitely be passing away. There's a reason why that all came up as well. And why it looked like, you all see in that fucking phone, it looked like it said cemetery on it. Uh, huh. Somebody could definitely be passing away. Or something about cemeteries. Somebody could be in the fucking cemeteries doing some weird shit. It might be your ex getting caught up with some shit. Look, yeah, look, the sun. <laughs> As I'm saying that, look down. The sun's this major exposure about something here, okay? It's something, a major exposure about your ex, okay? It's something about your ex, and I'm telling you, it's something to do with this same sex. They want to come and apologize, possibly, because I don't fucking know. Maybe they realize their whole life is going to shit now. We have 2-2 two, two here. 23 can definitely be significant, because it says 2.03 a.m., and then, you know, um, Saturday, January 23rd could be significant. That could be somebody's birthday, or something could have happened on a Saturday, or sometime in January, or January 23rd. All right, now, the 23rd, 23 is definitely significant here. Mm-hmm. We have 2-2. Two, two. We have 2-2-2. Two, two, two. There's something about a cemetery. Let me make sure I have these cards the right way. It doesn't matter. I just like to have the cards the same way. Because uh, no matter whatever, however it's supposed to come out, Spirit will make sure it comes out the correct way. I just prefer them to be in the upright. Unless, like, I'm guided. Once in a while, Spirit will, like, guide me to um, to do it mixed. But it's, you know, I only the only time I do that is when spirit like leads me to do that because like it like it literally it uh, kind of like bugs me a little bit <laughs> but i do it if i'm if i'm led to do it okay so that's the only time you'll see that whenever you see it like you know if they're mixed in the opposite direction now anybody else that does tarot you can do it however you prefer to because like again spirit's gonna make the cards come out the way that that they're supposed to all right but yeah, there's some sort of ex major exposure here, all right? You're having, you're going to have, like, happy, you're going to get some, also some sort of loyal love offer coming into, and it's going to make you happy. It doesn't have to be in a relationship. It could be, like, you know, um, family. It could be, like, you know, some sort of family, like, you're, you can be coming back into contact with a child, possibly, that child called, you know what I mean? Uh, maybe you lost contact with a child, or uh, if your child got taken away by um, CPS, or if you're, if you're, you know, if you're, husband or wife boyfriend or girlfriend aunt uncle grandparents or whoever or parents or somebody took custody of your child i feel like you're getting you're gonna um they could be a leo we have the sun card here um it could be your son because that was a, that was somebody's son that called me um okay so yeah that could be significant is there something here about a child a little like if, if it's been exposed to them how like what's really you know true and look at the little boy right here yeah and there's a little boy right there. There's two little boys right there. Somebody could have a dog. See the little boy right there? 
Beautiful. Or maybe your son's in the military and your, your, your child's in the military. Maybe they're coming back from the military. Maybe they're, you know, coming home. They might surprise visit you. You might not know that they're coming home on leave. Um, that could be it too. And again, thank you to, uh, <clears throat> wow, yeah, you see that? My throat chakra. Fuck. Sorry, I didn't want to really, uh, sorry if I blew that, um, if that, <laughs> I didn't mean to blow this on the cover if they were trying to surprise you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's just hurry up and skip past that. But um, thank you to anybody. <laughs> thank you to, um, you know, to anybody that's ever served. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your service. God bless your beautiful souls tenfold. And, uh, you know, I, and I pray that, you know, Archangel Michael protects everybody um, in the United States military when they're over, you know, fighting the... Uh, fighting in war. Yeah, because war. Duh. Remember, like I said, bat the war zone. Something about military. There's something about the military. So I said the war zone, the military, and then this came out, all right? Now somebody could have a T-Mobile, um, could be your carrier or somebody involved. That could be significant to somebody. Um, yeah, and I'm looking at it like, hey, baby, but I'm looking at baby like your child. Somebody definitely could have somebody in the military as a kid, their child. You know what I mean? They could be grown up. They could be obviously grown, but like it just still, you know, um, especially to a mother, your, your kid would be like 60 years old and that's still your baby. You know what I mean? Holy Spirit, divine spirit, angels, ancestors, and loved ones that passed away. What does the collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of at this time? Six of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so somebody was trying to get some sort of oh, see, and look how that look how that landed over the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody fucking definitely tried to steal your inheritance. All right, and they did not get success. They had no success, no public recognition, and no fucking fame. And there's definitely something about some sort of fake accounts here. All right, it's game over to this shit. Look. <gasps> confirmation somebody has some sort of fake accounts and i strongly feel um it's about you it could be an only fans page and they're like it doesn't even really what i feel like it is is like they probably opened up like an only fans page and um they portrayed it to be you and it's not even you like it was to try to break you or they could even stole like nudes of yours or like it could have been your ex something definitely about your ex could have been um recording you without your knowledge without your permission they could have had cameras in your phone I mean, in your house, I mean, or, damn, okay, I meant to say in your house, but in your phone, okay, they could be recording, like, having spyware on your phone and recording you and uploading this to, um, a live stream or onto, like, a platform like OnlyFans or whatever these fucking weird-ass things are, a to each his own, that's just not my cup of tea, you know, sex is supposed to be a sacred thing, um, you know what I mean? But that to each his own. Whatever you do is what you do. I'm not here to judge nobody, but that, that's just not for me. That's not, that's not how I get down at all. Um, by no means necessary. There's definitely something about camera and sex here. So they could have, uh, definitely made some sort of, like, and I'm strongly getting, though, like, they did some fucked up, it's definitely, I feel like your ex, they did some, like, raunchy-ass shit. Like, they went on, I feel like they looked up, like, the nastiest porn they could look up, right? And then they, they either blurred out or did some, like, photo editing, like, Photoshop shit, and then make it look like it was you. You're getting justice, Vic. You're getting, you're going, you best believe those motherfuckers are going to rot in hell for that one. They're definitely going to prison. You are going to press charges on them for that without a doubt. And you are going to sue the balls off of them. They tried to steal your inheritance as well, just like they did not get victory, success, public recognition, or fame. They did not get any success at all in stealing this inheritance. Land landed right over top of the Ten of uh, Pentacles in the reverse. They did not have victory over this, all right? And it's game over for this, for them doing this fucked up shit online. They could even just be them, like, they could have a fake page about you pretending to be you. I know I was going through that, like, and, um, I know I had that issue. Um, there's people going around my TikTok, making fake TikTok, Facebook, and, um, and, um, Instagram accounts pretending to be me and with my name and everything else. And it wasn't me. I like, you know, at first I was pissed. I was fucking hella pissed. All right. And then they made some like f fake ass fucking, um, you know, the, what is that called? Whatever, I don't know, some page, but thank God, like it just shows my character. Like people hit me up right away because the scumbag, I know it was my ex, the scumbag, you're a piece of shit for that one too. 23, you're a piece of shit and you're going down for that. I am going to sue you. You best fucking believe I'm going to do that. And you are going to sit in prison, you little snitch ass bitch. He's a fucking rat too. Guys, everybody, just so y'all know, he's setting motherfuckers up. He's straight up even fucking told me right before we broke up so y'all better watch the fuck out that's why he's out of fucking prison too just so y'all know all right anyway oh god but anyway this piece of shit um 
made up then when in like you know he's a piece of shit little narcissist that likes to go around and tell you what he's doing but he pretends like it's a joke but like so you don't you won't think that he's like you think that he's joking but he's that he has serious well he sure told me he's like yeah next thing you do is you have to and i had my friends list blocked all right because something and it's funny because right before he came home from jail something told me to block and it had nothing to do with him but like i just got like something told me to block my friends list i don't know why it was like i had no issues with him he was still my best friend at the time he was still like the love of my life so i thought um and no he was a fucking whole nightmare and he's definitely getting what he had served for sure but um something told me to do this so and i did and then he straight told me he's like now the next thing is you gotta you gotta figure out you know all their friends they're there you get to their friend list somehow and so what he did was i had i was in facebook jail right i was in facebook jail and so this could be happening to you there's a reason why this is coming out guys i was in facebook jail so um for like i don't know like three days because he reported this is back in the day like he reported one of my fucking my things just to be a dick somebody's reporting your shit too okay so that's the reason why that's coming out and he thinks it's funny he just he told me before how he does this like he gets off on, like he loves to see people suffer he's disgusting he clips his nails and mails like and mails it to people just because like you know he's just likes to fuck with people he's a piece of shit but anyway um he does like weird creepy shit like that like ew he's such a fucking weirdo but anyway and stop hitting me up seriously like i blocked you on everything on for a reason and now all of a sudden you want to hit me up on facebook i don't even know how because i had your ass blocked and then you want to hit me up on i haven't blocked him because i have him my phone as satan because he is he's satan in the fucking flesh and um but like he texted me i don't know if he got a new number or if he went in my phone and unblocked me i don't fucking know and unblocked himself i mean and started hitting me up. I showed you all that the other day, you know, when it happened last week. But yeah, like he just, the, well, so when I was, when he had me report it, like on Facebook, and I was in Facebook jail like years ago, um, I opened up a, a different Facebook because I used to be on Facebook heavy back then. So I opened up a, a, a second one just for, you know, I deleted it now, but it was just for while I was in Facebook jail because I used to stay, on, you know, on Facebook. But, um, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't think there was only a few of my friends on that list though, because I only had it for a couple of days. It was just for like the two days or three days, little sit down that, you know, because of him reporting my shit. Well, um, what do you call it? So he went, I didn't, I didn't, you know, I didn't even think about that page because I had, I only used it those couple of days. That was it. So he took the only picture of me and it was on there that he had. And then he fucking, um, opened up another account and pretending under my name right and then like was hitting people up and like the the all from that friend list and he was hitting people up and was like trying to say that it was uh, my second account which i didn't know it was not and trying to say that i like you know trying to get to make it look like that i i i it was a trick and i don't do that anybody that knows me knows my number one rule in life is never sell your soul and never sell your holes i live by that and i will always live by that fuck no down no shade to anybody who does that but that's just not for me it never was and it never will be now i know that motherfucker does and i know that i know he is gay i know he is i know he is he went to prison and got gay became gay as fuck and like that's fine it's okay there's it doesn't matter like whatever i even tried to let him know like bro you're it's cool like i already know i, I honestly think he was gay beforehand um i was trying to give him hints beforehand to let him know like bro i know you're really gay um but whatever it is what it is um but yeah so so then yeah and then did that shit right but then thank god you know people are hitting me up right away like yo misty like this isn't right like i know this ain't you i just want to let you know that um somebody's making a fake account about you and i'm like what the fuck and sure enough fucking like and it was like it was you know a scamming thing too so people would get pissed off thinking i was scamming them too because i had um my sister actually is the one that you know ended up getting that shit taken down and everything else thank you ams i love you um and but like yeah and i had other people that like looked into it and my friend who was at, at, um, actually a sheriff uh i was fucking bugging bro i was bugging about that you know um i was bugging about that shit dude i was going the fuck off but like i was literally crying for like a week straight just slept and, and but now i'm just like whatever you're a fucking pussy like and it just showed to me and like when i you know i would just wake up cry go back to sleep crying like about that because i was so hurt about that at the time but then um i woke up one day confirmation well i woke up to one day and i was just like you know fuck this pussy like i want nothing to do with him like he's just a piece of shit because i even called him i was like yo bro you got something you got to tell me and then he like you know does like <laughs> He tells me, you lost a friend, pussy, you, you, what are you talking about? Because I already broke up with him. And he's like, you lost a friend, bitch. No, you lost a friend. You ain't never been a friend to me. You've been nothing but a piece of shit. And I know you have everything to do with stealing my inheritance, pussy. And you're going down for that too, motherfucker. 
we'll talk shit and make lies about me. Let's talk the truth about you. Let's, how about we do that, bro? How about we do that? Let's tell the truth about you. Since you like to go around lying about people, motherfucker. And yo, to whoever my past person's new person is, please get your man on a leash. I don't want him. Tell him to leave me the fuck alone, please. Like, I don't want nothing to do with this dude. Just please tell him. Get him in line, please. Just keep him away from me, please. I'm asking you nicely. And, like, my only thing I could say to you, sweetheart, is run. Fucking run. Like, seriously, run. Before it's too late for you. I'm telling you, he's a piece of shit. He's evil as fuck. He is a devil in the flesh. I'm telling you. But some shit like that's going on with you guys. But, yeah, then I looked into it. Like, so they, it was like, um... He was trying to say that, like, you know, it was, like, some sort of, um, sex page thing. I was bugging the fuck out, and, uh, but it was a scam. It was, like, literally, so when you put your information there, it scams all of your money and shit. Dude, I was bugging the fuck out. You have no idea. But now I'm just like, whatever, you're a piece of shit, and I already got somebody looking into it, and it's already getting taken care of. They don't realize, because he, he didn't think I was going to go do something about that, but no, you're crossing the lines right there. You best believe you're crossing the fucking lines right there, confirmation. So um, I made sure, and I told him, I said, all right, well then look, I, I mean, I, like, I just wanted you to know, if it's you, like, it's not funny, like, let me know now, because I'm about to make, I'm taking action towards this, because I don't play that way. And he told me, well, do whatever you got to do, thinking I wasn't going to do it. And I did. I don't give a fuck. You ain't going to go and do shit like that to me. You got me fucked up. You got me fucked all the way up. Now, what else that happened to you? So that's, I guarantee you, it's going to be that piece of shit's karma because they want to go play acting like I did some shit that I don't do. All right. And fucking, you know, was scamming people. And that's why that scam call was happening, too. This makes so much sense. So they're like, you know, they're out here making, trying to make it look like you're like a sleazy, right? When you ain't, you don't get down like that, right? Well, now it's going to be fucking, they're going to get caught up. Their new person, I'm strongly feeling maybe their new person thought that they're cheating on them because I guarantee you, you know, they probably were because they're a pig, like I'm, with my ex, he's, he's, he's a pig. Um, so, and I feel like maybe possibly they put like a camera in their house, they catch them and they're going to fuck around and find them with the same sex. That's what I'm strongly getting. And it's going to be a game over to this person. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And they are not getting victory success or anything like that with this. And they seem to, like, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Like, for a week straight, I was fucking crying my eyes out. I was, I, I literally, I was waking up, going, like, waking up crying, going to sleep crying. Like, literally. Like, literally. It was ridiculous. Um, but the, it, it lasted for a week. That was it. Then God, like, you know what I mean? God, I woke up with an epiphany and I was like, oh, shit. And, that, and that, like, that actually, in a way, I look at it like it's a blessing in disguise. Because, like, with everybody, and a thank you to everybody who was hitting me up with that shit, too. Because it was, you know... Because of God and because of y'all, like, you know, the people that were, like, Misty, like, they, like when I woke up and the, um, finally, like, the last day that I was looking, because I wouldn't even look at any of my messages. I was fucking so upset because I was like, oh, my God, what if they think this? But I was like, who gives a fuck anyway? Like, I don't even care what anybody thinks of me. But when I went and finally went on there and I looked and I was like, and I seen so many people hit me up like, Misty, yo, I know this ain't you. I'm like, all right, that just shows my character. And, you know what I mean? So, but then, you know what I mean? And so I was like, all right, well, that made me feel a lot better. So thank you to everybody who did that. All right, and fuck you to my ex, you're a piece of shit, and yet yeah, all your skeletons are coming out of your closet, and your new person needs to get you on a leash, for real. So, ma'am, sir, come tame your man, please. Nobody wants them. Nobody wants them. And please.